Well, the Sunshine State welcomes fans across the world to another footballing expedition as we hit the penultimate match day in the 2022-23 Nigeria Premier Football League season. That's the aerial view of the Akure Township Stadium where the action will go down today, the centre of attention and within minutes a fan attraction as Quora United welcome the solid miners from Lafia, Nasra United in a game of huge significance. It begins the battle for survival is real and it's live now from the Akure Township Stadium at the home side I will be operating from left to right. The ball system you find yourself so it's, it's going to be disappointing if either of this side gets to you know, you know get relegated into the second tier of the bowling system here in Nigeria but uh, the home side uh, they have the advantage of the fans in front of them and hopefully they get to secure their top flight status for next season. Yeah, almost. It's uh, Gator also just waiting. Ayobami Jr. First touch from Paul Sampson. Well, he knows how to take those efforts. Uh, took a deflection off. That's a corner kick to the home side. Flight, but it just means they have all the eggs in their basket now going into the final match day against the unbeaten Brendel Insurance. They've got to try to defend this. Ball into the penalty box, Paul Sampson! Oh. And from six yard, he spawns. It was easier to score than miss. It's that danger man again. And uh, he took the ball down nicely, uh, but that left footer short, he just couldn't keep it down. Uh, you know, Crow United, they are really getting closer now to uh, opening the score sheet in this game. It's Poros. Well, here's a chance for goal number 11, possibly. A goalkeeper. Likely to be called into action. The set piece is taking goalkeeper. Well, it looks like he had it covered. Hey, May Godwin. I almost thought he had a hand to that, but uh, the, the referee spotted that nicely. I think he, you know, hit the side of uh, of the of the woodwork for a goal kick for Nasarawa United. It can now for just tracking back to help out the Nasarawa defense. Oh, that's brilliantly done. It's three against two. Good first touch, and that's a disappointed attempt of what could have been a sweet counter attack for Nasser United. Into his uh, pre match talk while you interviewed him. Uh, for now, they've got to be concerned about this attack. Samad whips it across to the back post. Timely interception there from Manga Mohammed. Do you think you should be concerned now, Abubakar Kia, the coach of Nasser United? To the Fatoku. Cross to the back post. The goalkeeper doing well to just take that off. Danger. I said earlier, it all could change within seconds, but for the time being, has a chance. Ayobami Jr. That's it across to Isa Gaita. Still Gaita. Goes past three. Gaita! Oh, he almost did something special, but the defending was astute. Retain their yeah, top flight status. Samad Kadari to take. Calories steps up. Brilliant serve from the goalkeeper, Emma Godwin. He had his angle covered perfectly. Had he covered perfectly, he saw that coming. And a great one from Samuel Kadri. We could have thought he would have gone the other way because, you know, when you see free kicks being taken, the target likely might just be the, where the goalkeeper isn't standing. Another chance. Well, the header. Oh, it's going out of touch. It was a snap. Header from the. The captain, Jide Fatoku, and it felt like he was in <laughs> until we saw the goalkeeper just feeling a bit calm. Uh, that was a chance, Emmanuel Sebastian. A great chance for Cora United to get themselves in front in this game. First from that set-piece opportunity, Samad Kadri, the goalkeeper saw that, and this was another brilliant chance. Great cross into the 18-yard area, but that header just uh, far from target. And uh, the goalkeeper had that covered, but lost count of the set pieces for Nasra United. But the corner will come, and a flicker on is it for the goalkeeper? Say, sick a breakaway on the left hand side. It can now for there's been pedestrian since the start of this fixture. Still, it can now for, but the goalkeeper comes and uh, Hannah Chum just try to match his way beyond the dual in cap. 
a free kick will come. It's taken the goalkeeper. Strong hands from Godunami to keep Nassau United status still solid. I'm mean, on the club side who've had the opportunity to acquire the uh, tactical expertise. Well, he has a chance to cook up. They eventually get the goal. Saints here at the Akura Township Stadium. Celebrations. Scrappy. Scrappy goal, but who cares about the quality? It's from the back of the net. That's all that matters. The Harmony Boys have found reason to celebrate. It just might have fallen kindly. For the Max player, celebrations. Poor defending there from Nasarawa United. I mean, that player was so lazy to strike the run from where that cross came in. But a brilliant finish. The four United players, they were at the referee, hoping for, for a handball. But it kept on going. Good control. The goalkeeper saves. And some brilliant defending danger not yet completed. Averted. And now the presence of Joshua Agbo later intercepts. <laughs> Ahmed Godwin, the goalkeeper, preserving the scoreline with that chance. Another brilliant save. Not the first time, not the second time in this game. Ahmed Godwin. The Harmony boys have it as we speak. Nelson RBM to take. RBM with a set piece. Well, it wouldn't trouble the goalkeeper, but that was better than earlier. But that's the final whistle. It means the final nail on Nasarawa's top flight status. The solid minors melted to the second tier as they mourn that stuck reality. The Harmony boys are set to hit the dance floor for safety is assured. Just one goal to the French show. Just one goal. Ahmed Juma. Kuala United will be in the NPFL next season. Nasarawa United will not. The man who guided Nasarawa United to their best ever league finish in 2014, Kabiru Dogo, is responsible now for their exits from the top flight. A result from the Akura Township Stadium which confirms both relegation and safety, not a scoreline. Kuala United won, Nasarawa United nil.